Now in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the Hollyland Solidcom C1 Pro Headset System. Very long name, but let's go ahead and get into it. So firstly, before we get too far, I do wanna let you guys know Hollyland is sending these out to me. They didn't get to see the review before it was posted, so they're seeing it just like you are seeing it for the first time. So nothing here has been changed or anything like that. This is all gonna be my basic review off of the experience I've had with the Hollyland Solidcom C1 Pro communication system. Let's get it. So firstly, we're gonna be talking about what you get in the box, and then we're gonna be talking about the headset, and then we're gonna be jumping into my actual review. So firstly, what you get in the box is a hard case. As soon as you open up your box, if this came into the mail, you're gonna get a hard case with Hollyland around the top. Well, across the top, written across the top, however you wanna say it. So you got your Hollyland box and you open that bad baby, you're gonna be actually introduced with bags. Every last one of the headsets come in a leather bag. So before you start jumping into the headsets, you do have a top section, which is actually a zippered section. You're gonna have your replacement earmuff with a bigger one. So you got a replacement one, then you have a bigger one for the guys with the bigger ears. You have a actual pad cushion on this side that comes in the pack as well. You have batteries in there, and then you also have the replacement microphone in, so you're actually able to, you know, you never know. You, you honestly never know. You might spit on the bad baby and you wanna change it out for the next person. So you have every spot that will literally touch another human being's either face or head that is gonna be replaceable here on the Hollyland Solidcom C1 Pro communication system. And of course you get a charger which is gonna be an eight slot charger, and that's it. So after you have everything all laid out, or if you wanna lay it out, first things you wanna do is look at the headset. So once you take the headsets out of the included leather bags, you will see that it has a nice construction. When I mean nice construction, the top part is this nice kind of light brown leather material, you got metal on there, you got a little bit of plastic on there, but as far as the attention to detail, these bad babies look amazing. So if you look on the operator side, I guess I would say or call it the operator side, you can have this either on the left or the right because they are universal and they also have height adjustability. So if you're on the operator side, which is the side on the headset, which has the boom, which lets the microphone up and down, that's where you're gonna have all of your actual buttons on the headset. Now you're gonna have a center button on there, which is gonna be the biggest button and it's gonna be the mute button. That's gonna mute everything that's coming through your headset and everything going out of your headset. Now you can also mute yourself standalone if you just move your boom up. Once it's in the up position, it's gonna be muted, but you're still actually able to hear what anybody else is communicating to you through the actual headset. And of course, you know, vice versa. When the boom is down, you're gonna actually be able to talk to them and they're gonna be actually able to hear you and you're gonna actually have communication. Other than that, on the side of the headset, you do have two volume buttons. So communication coming in volume, so volume up and volume down. You also have an A and B button, which is gonna be kind of like a A and B channel kind of button. Haven't really messed too much with that, but the A and B button I believe is for different channels. And if you look at the headsets in detail, you will see the Solidcom logo on one of them is actually red, and then on the other two it's actually blue. That red one is actually gonna be a master headset. So if you were somebody who was like myself, who's a camera operator, I usually take the master headset, and then whoever else needs a headset will get a headset, and they're gonna actually be labeled blue, and those are gonna be basically like the children headset to the red headset. So your red is your master, and then the two blue ones are gonna be the ones that connect to it. Or, you know, if you had one red one, because you can buy a standalone master headset, and then have all of the, you know, basically the daisy chain ones to it, and you can do it that way as well. Now, other than that, and all the buttons and everything on there, you do have an on and off switch, and you do have a charging port, which is gonna be USB-C, so you can actually charge these bad babies with the battery in the headset, and then you also can charge them, you know, standalone, like taking the battery out, having the headsets just sit there, and then put the batteries on the eight bay charger, which is also included in the package. Now, Hollyland did send me a six 
set headset. So I have two master headsets and four baby headsets. So I'm actually able to have six people communicating at a time. Our team really isn't that big, but we are actually using around three and four almost every race. So I guess you can say I actually am using just about all six. It would be good to get all six to future proof, but four of them do come in at around $1,300. And I believe six of them come in at around 17 to 1800 dollars i will have it linked on the screen here i haven't checked it out in a minute but hollyland did send these out and i've had these for around two weeks so i've had a lot of experience with these bad babies so let's go ahead and jump into the review so first off love them i really do like i never knew how important communicating with my team would be i mean we don't necessarily have huge communications like oh i need somebody to change my white balance my nd filter all of this it'd be little small stuff because we are a small production team like we're still trying to get everything dialed in and set up to where um we can start incorporating more people and have more stuff to actually use and actually you know put and incorporate into our videos to make our productions a lot better so we use these on the races and we only basically ask for like I need an extra battery, I, I need a, a lens swap, I need a, my talents, you know, coat is jacked up, you know, my, my lavalier mic isn't, you know, I can't hear my lavalier mic on the scratch audio, so I need somebody to reset it to make sure that, you know, we're actually getting professional audio and professional visuals. Now, I've actually had a lot of fun with these bad babies, and I really 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 don't want to send them bad babies back because the first day i got them they actually came in the mail literally like an hour before i had to go to a race so i was like you know what let's go ahead take these bad babies to the race and see how they work so my first impressions my first actual hands-on with these bad babies was really in a real world case scenario where we needed to use them for an actual shoot so they came in clutch and when i mean clutch it was easy set up throw the batteries in there Look at the manual real quick to know that, you know, you have a master headset and then you got the other two. And then we was literally off to the races. We was able to capture the race, have stuff, you know, kind of being a little bit more easy, a little bit more coherent through the night so we can actually get the production done. Like, I can't stress to you how much communicating with your team, you know, how important that is, you know. Now, if we had, like, gaffers or if we had, like, scene set up well that's basically gaffers if we had like wardrobe makeup lighting and all of this everybody needs a headset so we can make sure everything is going to run smoothly and we don't have me being the camera operator having to drop the camera go and you know fix up our talent and then actually pull the camera back up to actually get a good framing that's what we used to do before i've actually had you know chance and you know opportunity to use the hollyland solid comms and I'm telling you, it's game changer. I, I, I wish we would have had these before. And I don't know. We might still have these after this review. So make sure you guys are uh, staying tuned to the channel. Make sure you guys are watching the ORC Racing page. Because that's where all of the professional videos that I shoot end up at the end of the day. Anyways, that's going to actually be it. My review, my overall review of this whole video is going to be these bad babies are great. If you don't or if you or if you uh don't necessarily know what or if you're going to need communication i would just say see if you can get your hands on a loaner set and actually test them bad babies out now i will be doing more work and more you know videos and more products with hollyland so make sure you guys are staying to the channel and make sure you are subscribed and liking the videos because we will have more videos just like this one if you're a fan of hollyland i will be trying to do a little bit more of their products because i am definitely a fan of hollyland and i mean before they actually reached out to me to actually do the review of these i was kind of skeptical because i was like i don't necessarily know if i need these but once i got them tested them out and I was I was shocked. I was very, very shocked at the actual outcome and the actual use case scenario. And it was something that you didn't know you needed until you had it, honestly. So that's going to be it. That's going to be my full review and my overview, my first impressions and basically a little bit of how and what and my experiences with the Hollyland Solidcom C1 Pro communication headsets. Remember, they did send these out to me, but they didn't get to see this video. 
Hope you guys did enjoy the video. Hollyland, hope you guys do enjoy the video as well. And I hope to be working with you guys soon in the future. Anyways, this has been your boy Christian, and I'll see you guys on the next one.